Today on the Candy Isle, it's Nestle's Nesquik Candy Bar up for review. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Jeff. Today, we have another review. Once again, we're looking at uh, some foreign candy bars. This is Nestle's Nesquik Gofrit and Soot chocolate bar. That is the Nesquik Wafers and Milk um, in Turkish. Hold on, let me... Open that f-stop up one more. Sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. It's a pretty straightforward chocolate bar, guys. It's a uh, wafer bar enrobed in milk chocolate with, I don't know, some kind of a milky, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a, not a nougat, but a cream probably in between the wafers. Um, yeah, Nestle's Nesquik. It's been around for a long time. It's been around since, uh, what was it, the the 40, 48, 49, released in, uh, as a powder, obviously quick. It was released as a powder, um, chocolate powder. And then later a few other flavors came up, strawberry, notably, um, uh, banana. Yeah, it's a popular one. Um, but, uh, it's been released, uh, as a, as a chocolate powder that could be added, primarily chocolate that could be added to milk or I guess some other milk like product. Um, to create, you know, chocolate milk. Um, when it was launched in the United States, Canada, Mexico, Australia, I presume New Zealand as well, it was just branded as Nestle Quick in the 50s. Just that part, Nestle Quick. So that's what I grew up knowing it as, Quick. And then um, in Europe, it has always been since it's launched in the 50s or 60s, uh, labeled as Nesquik. Um, but then in 1999, globally, they just decided to change the branding to Nesquik everywhere, which I think is fine. It's got a little rabbit mascot. This is Quickie the bunny. He's got like a big Q, like, um, or he used to when I was a kid, right? What's it, what's he wearing? Looks like he's got like a, <laughs> looks like he's got like, I don't, I can't tell what that is. Like a scarf, obviously of some kind, maybe on i'm not sure what he's wearing maybe these are like this is like his no he's got he's got like a collar and then classically the collar had like a cue on it right like a collar like a dog collar i don't even understand you know what i never really thought about this this is quickie the bunny though he is a little brown bunny he's the nest quick bunny he loves chocolate you know just like all of those mascots like the tricks bunny or whatever the bee from honey uh honey nut cheerios um, he loves what he does and he loves shilling for <laughs> chocolate powdered delicious drinks. Uh, while it's known for the chocolate powder drink, of course, quick Nesquik, sorry, I'll call it Nesquik, um, is these days probably most popular for their ready-made chocolate milk, uh, drinks. Um, I, you can see, I see them in the grocery store all the time. You know, they are not, um, healthy. They're not healthy, but they're like packaged as like a treat for kids or sometimes like a breakfast sort of a drink, but they're like, <laughs> let's be clear guys. They are not healthy. They are like very, um, very sugary. So don't confuse them for like a breakfast, breakfast drink. Uh, speaking of breakfast, Nesquik has also made, uh, a few other products like, um, like the drinks, like obviously chocolate syrup, you know, probably only rivals here in Canada and the States, um, alongside the Hershey's, um, chocolate syrup. Um, but, uh, the, um, they've made a cereal too, Nesquik cereal, which, uh, I've had before and it, you know, like cocoa puffs would turn your milk into chocolate milk. Anyway, this is a chocolate bar. I, they definitely do not sell this here. If you go to the Nesquik um, website for, you know, Nesquik.com, they only list the stuff that they sell in the United States and Canada, which is um, the, the powdered mixes, the powdered drink mixes, the ready-made drinks, and then the syrup. So this is a product I've never had before, but I'm not expecting anything too crazy with it. Oh, if you guys want to see, here's, it does say here, made in Turkey, down, down there somewhere. Um... I don't know. Best before. This isn't too old, I hope. 20 April 2021. Hey, I made it just in time. <laughs> uh and uh da, da, da. I mean, I don't I don't I can't read that Turkish and then we got the Arabic here. So, 
All right. I mean, let's just go into it, guys. Let's go into it. Oh, boy. It's not too hot today. I don't but it feels, I'm already a little concerned about it being melty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does this remind me of? It's like another bar like that this reminds me of. Not there, not there. So that's what we're looking at. Interesting. It doesn't really look like the, I mean, I guess it does. The two layers of uh, the milk here are in between the wafers. The uh, chocolate is already kind of coming off, but you know, that will happen anywhere. Let me give this a try. It, it, it looks exactly like something else and I can't put my finger on what, what bar it is that it looks like. Guys, let me know in the comments below. Hmm. Hmm. That's not bad. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, that chocolate's pretty good. Actually. I mean, I guess it is Nestle chocolate. At least on the um, American Nestle website, it says that they get their chocolate from South America. I'm not sure if that would apply to Nesquik products, or, um, <coughs> excuse me, or Nestle products in general from um, the Middle East. But, you know, um, the chocolate here, Nestle does have a, they, they, you know, they make pretty decent chocolate. It's okay. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Um, this is pretty good though. The wafer is thin. Um, it's very light, as you would expect. You remember that? Um, do you guys know that chocolate, not a chocolate, it's, um, like the really good, is it starts with an F? No, it's a Q. It's like a quad, quadru, I want to say like quadrano, quadrilateral. <laughs> there's like a, there's like a square, uh, that comes, it's like a square wafer confection. Um, it's like two wafers, maybe three wafers with like a, filling in between and uh and then it comes in a bag like like the Lindors would come in um what is that name of that product man okay those in my opinion I can't remember the name of those I never get them because they're so expensive but every time I've had them those in my opinion are the best of the best in terms of the wafer chocolate product like this kind of a wafer chocolate product this reminds me of the kind of stuff that you'd see I mean, I, I do think that there's a bar that I'm not thinking of. This is very light. Like, you can feel it's very weird. It's weird. It's almost so, it's so light. This reminds me of the kind of um, wafer bar product that you would see at... Uh, sorry, guys. My camera's falling over. Um, that you, you would see as, like, the house brand at any major grocery chain. Um, there's always something like this. Or something has been imported from, you know, uh, South Asia... Uh, and it's very common to see something like this. And usually they're kind of cheap, but they're always good in a way too, right? I remember when I was a kid, um, and, uh, uh, after church on Sunday, um, they would have like a coffee time, you know, coffee or tea or whatever. Um, and they would put out like cookies and I don't know, little things for people to congregate and do their thing. And I was always like, whenever... Uh, my family would help out with doing that. I would always like make sure that there was like the wafer, those like cheap wafer <laughs> bars out there. And I would just, uh, I would make sure I would stash a couple away for myself. Um, kind of reminds me of that, but like, it's not like, it's nothing bad against them. It's just like, it's a quality level. That's like pretty, you know, kind of low quality. Um, to see it enrobed in chocolate is something that is not, you, you don't often see, but this reminds me of like that kind of a quality. Like it's kind of cheap. The, uh, frosting or the filling here, the milk, whatever it is, could be a bit thicker, a bit richer. That's certainly like the quad or whatever that, whatever that he heck that name is of that, uh, square. I'm really having a hard time with my words today, guys. <laughs> you guys can help me out in the comments below. You know, that square bagged one that I was talking about, bagged wafer confection. That is, um, 
that one always that one had the best because the filling like the frosting filling in that one is like so good this one is could be bigger could be more i wish it was a bit more uh denser um but i do like in a way how light and wafery this is it's uh even look at the look at the chocolate here it's very very thin right it's like like you can see through it basically um so it's a really light light coating uh, this whole thing is very light, um, but that probably serves it well. Um, I don't know if that's something to do with chocolate from the Middle East. I know that the chocolate I've had from the Middle East, some of the chocolate itself is not always the best quality, but um, I think that some of the snacks I've seen may have a tendency to be a bit lighter. Um, I don't know. Would that have something to do with like the heat? Would you want something lighter? I'm trying to think. I spent some time overseas in, um, uh, I was in sub-Saharan Africa uh, for about almost two years. And I'm just trying to think of the kind of candies that I would see like on the, the street candies, you know. Um, it wasn't much of that. It was a lot more like street meat, really. I should ask my wife because she lived in Turkey for a little while. Um, hmm. I don't think she would know this, though. I, I feel like this is, uh, you know, perhaps a, I don't know, not quite obscure. I mean, it is branded with Nesquik, but, you know, it's it's just a, it's, it is what it is, guys. <laughs> I can't imagine that this is like breaking the bank, some major hit overseas that I've just never heard of. I still expect if you, you're in, you know, uh, you're in Istanbul, you're going to go, you can still go get a Kit Kat, you know. <laughs> There's not really a reason why you're necessarily rushing to get the Nesquik bar. Um, but you guys let me know if you happen to, I don't know if I have any viewers from over there. If you do, if you are like, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Um, what your experience is in the stores. And do you guys know this bar for me? It's good. I, I like, I like it. It's, but it it is what it is. Just know that it's very light. Um, almost like, like you're, it's not like filling. <laughs> There's no way you're going to say that. Uh, so I, I think, I don't think that it is going for that though. So I think that it achieves what it sets out to do, um, being light and pretty tasty. Uh, so I'll recommend it. I, I think it's decent. Yeah. So walking the candy aisle is going to rate the Nestle Nesquik bar. Um, I'll rate it a four out of five. You know, good job with a fairly simple kind of an execution. I guess that's it. But you know, good branding, like caught my eye when I saw it in the store here. So anyway. That's my thoughts on it. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Help me out with all the words that I was having trouble remembering this episode. <laughs> and I'll talk to you next time. All right, so long, everyone. Bye-bye.